you want to make this. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make embeds for your ERLC server. By the way, if you came here just to learn about buttons in embeds and not at the bottom of embeds, make sure to skip through to this timestamp. Okay, so you will want to go to this website called Embed Generator. You can just look that up on Google and click on the first link and it should look something like this. So the first thing you want to do is you'll want to log in. It's going to prompt me with a Discord authorization and it'll just know your username, avatar and banner and servers that I'm in. I'm going to authorize that and now I'm logged in to my page. So as you can see, I've already got this in a bunch of communities. You will not see this unless some servers that you're admin in also have this bot. So what you want to do is you'll want to click on invite the bot. It will launch your Discord app. So let me go over there. And as you can see, it will give you a little prompt like this. So just click continue, click continue again, and click go to server. As you can see, Embed Generator appeared. Make sure that this has an admin role. Embed Generator is at the top of my server, so this should be no issue. I'm going to drag Discord back. Now, in one to five minutes, you should be able to see your new server on the list. So I've now got Justin's server. And what you want to do is you want to start setting up the bot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to send the message in general, which by the way is the only channel that I have. You may see more, you may see less. And then this you don't really have to worry about unless you're using a custom webhook. So I'm just going to do general. And then what you want to do is you want to set everything up. So I'm going to go username and avatar and I'll see you when I'm done. By the way, if you don't have a URL, for your image you can just click upload and then you can upload any of your files okay so i've got the username and avatar url in the bot do not type in content because this is just a normal message so if i type hello and send that as you can see my justin bot just says hello with no embed so what you want to do is you want to delete what you typed in content and then you want to add a embed now click on the embed and you don't need to worry about the first three boxes they're nothing do not worry about it now just go down to title and this can be your title so what i'm going to be making today is a dashboard one's going to be a bit more technical than the other so this is the first one so i'm just going to do dashboard and then i'm just going to add a bit of a description welcome to my server as you can see now it says dashboard welcome to my server i'm going to customize the color to a lovely red lovely lovely and then i can upload an image or a thumbnail if i'd like that's how you see our embeds having those images above and below them. As you can see, this is our dashboard in Sydney Roleplay with the images above and below. So that's exactly what I did. I just uploaded an image here. Now I have got a absolutely massive face in the image URL box, but if you just wanted a simple thumbnail, you can do that too. As you can see, the thumbnail shows up next to the start so just to make this more clear i'm just going to type a few more lines so let me do that quickly and it should show up as you can see that will stay there how the image will be massive and move down so that so just so you know the image is this box here footer you don't need to worry about if you would like a little bit of like a signed by such and such you can do that and that is the only text that will appear below this image so i'm going to do signs justin and then you don't need to do anything else. I'm just going to send that in general. As you can see, here is my beautiful embed. Now I'm going to do the more technical version. This version will have buttons, which is probably why you clicked on this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, okay, dashboard. And I'm going to delete all of this because I do not need it. I'm going to delete those two images as well. And then I'm going to keep the signed Justin because I want people to know that this is my embed. And then I'm going to either go add a button row or add a select menu where it says add components. So for now, I'm going to add a button row. Now, as you can see, you can add a button here. So that's what I'm going to do. And there are five options. Purple, which these are literally just colors. So choose what you would like. And then there's also a direct link. Now, direct link is different because you cannot assign it to put out a message. It is always gray. You cannot change that. And you can just select it to go to a 
URL. So now I've got the proper URL with the HTTPS before it, and now I'm going to send it in general. And as you can see, now it's got a button underneath it, and when I click that, it'll prompt me to leave Discord and go to YouTube. Moving on, now we are to the second part of the video. This is component V2. Now, if you just skip to this part, welcome. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can get buttons inside of embeds, just like we have at Sydney Roleplay. So for this, I am using a beta feature of Embed Generator, and it may not be available for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go add component. I'm going to go add container. Then I'm going to select the color that I want the container. So I'm just going to do a lovely blue. So let me do that. Once I've selected the container color, you'll see it on the side. And then what you want to do is you'll want to add some text. So I'm just going to do hello world. And then I'll just do this is my new ERC server. Welcome. So I'm just going to do a simple thing like that. Obviously, you can customize it to your heart's desire. And if you're wondering what these two hashtags are for, if you didn't know, Discord has formatting. So for extremely bold text, just use one hashtag and a space. And then it obviously goes down from there. So I will show you that by just putting hello in all of these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some components in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one button and it's the same as I showed you if you're in the components V1. So if you do not know how to set up this button, make sure that you skip back to that part. I'm just going to do any emoji. So I'm just going to do a thumbs up and then I'm going to use the link that I have before. I'm also going to add a select menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to add components. I'm going to do select menu. I'm going to do a placeholder. Now, if you don't know what a placeholder is, it's like this little bit of text that goes just here and then you open it up and then you have the actual buttons and you can click those buttons to be able to get rules. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go placeholder and I'm just going to say, this is my menu. And then I'm going to add an option and then I'm going to go a uh, little laughing emoji and hello and then I can add an action to it so I'm going to do a text response hello thank you for clicking this button and I'm going to make that bold Remember, you can also make these ping people. So as you can see, add a mention, you can add a channel, you can add a role, you can enter a user ID. So I'm going to make it ping me. So I'm going to copy my user ID. I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to mention the user. Now, make sure that you click this button called ping roles. This is extremely important if you do actually want to ping that person. And then I will send that message. So now this is my embed with hello world. This is my new ERLC server, welcome. And then as you can see, we're just testing the fonts here. So hello, hello, hello. And then here's my embedded YouTube button. And then here is my menu. And if I click hello, then it will actually ping me as you can see by the yellow around it. And then we also have hello. Thank you for clicking this button. Now this will be not sent by your custom bot rather embed generator but it still looks really really good and professional i hope this tutorial helped this is what i actually use to make all of the sydney dashboards so you can get really really technical with this with images and even things like embedded menus anyway i'll see you on the next one